Indiana is headed to Cincinnati. And Cincinnati is a 16.5 point favorite over at BetUS. The total sits at 57.5. It's a 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time game, of course. And they just stacked all these games at the same time. Right in the middle of the afternoon, of course. But uh, but that one's on ESPN2. Let's go on and pull up the stats here. Um, you look at the trend. Since he 5-1 against the spread their last six at home, Indiana is 2-8 and eight against the spread in their last 10 against winning teams. Indiana is so interesting. They are 3-0. and oh. They've not looked great, certainly. Uh, and when you look at this, I mean, they're number 102 strength of schedule, but number 19 strength of record. Again, it's something something's off. Something's weird about this ESPN number. But regardless, uh, we don't use that anyway, so it, I, I just have it for context. Uh, I've got a score of Cincinnati 27-16. to 16. Now, the total over at BetUS is 57.5. My total is 43.82. But these are just raw numbers, no priors, etc. So, obviously, proceed with caution if you're going to use my numbers on this. Uh, but this is just raw stats from this season. So, pay attention. Uh, you look at this, Indiana is not great at anything. However, uh, Cincinnati is number 81 in PPA per pass, right? Indiana has not been great at that. Number 82 PPA per pass on offense. But when you look at the pass rate, et cetera, I think that there are ways that Indiana can exploit Cincinnati's defense. Remember, this game last year was 38-24. to 24. Uh, Cincinnati got the win, and they didn't look great doing it. Uh, I want to say they were down, or they were nearly down at the half, and Indiana's linebacker went out for a targeting or whatever. It was a weird spot. Uh, but since he was expected to win that game by more last year, uh this this one stat here, pass explosiveness. Um, Indiana's number 18 in that metric, and Cincinnati is number 103. Indiana does like to throw the deep ball, especially with DJ Matthews. Um, I, Basil Act Matthews, I think it's been a lot of fun. This is an interesting game to me because I feel like people have been crapping on Indiana all week long, talking about how bad Cincinnati was going to beat them, etc. I still expect Cincinnati to win the game because I don't think Indiana is is great, obviously. I know they're 3-0, and but I do think that Indiana can keep this game relatively close. I think you hit a couple of big plays, etc. Uh, that defense can find a way to do something, I, I would imagine. Um, but Fickle's bunch, like, they're good. They ain't great either. So let's let's see what ends up happening here. Um, yeah, I'm. I think I'm. I'm going to ride Indiana to cover the sixteen and a half here. Uh, I just think that they're better than people are giving them credit for. And no, I mean the numbers don't necessarily spell that out for you. But I I do think maybe we're undervaluing Indiana just a just a touch, just a smidge. So Indiana to cover sixteen and a half on the road at Cincy. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.